Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. Very, very lucky person today. I've managed to get hold of an early pre-order copy of the new release from Agora Models, Bismarck, the legendary battleship. Now one of the biggest questions I've had on my channel is where can I get hold of the Bismarck because you've seen me building it in the past and the good news is that now this is available for Agora models. I did do a link to this just up here uh, just introducing the uh, proposition from Agora models but I'll just go over that again for you. To order this you just have to go to this link here agoramodels.com. You can get this over 12 or 24 months op options. The other really good thing is that if you pre-order it you can also get an option where you'll get the display case and the display case is going to look fantastic for this bearing in mind the ship's almost one meter 25 centimeters long so it's going to be a big old case now you are covered by the agora promise it just means that once you've started this this is going to be in full production all the way to the end whether you're on your 12 or 24 months options but once again just go down to agoramodels.com this is worldwide it's not available in some territories so you'd need to check that when you go onto the website and you could order this for yourself. Now there are other items over at Agora Models you can see. You've got the Terminator over there, you've got the Zero Fighter which is a new build coming soon. You've also got the Shelby Super Snake which is up there and you've also got the Shelby Cobra. So uh, quite a lot of things coming and there's a load more coming in 2021. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a quick brief about what's in pack one and then we'll get building. Now, as you can see, this is the brochure here. If I just open it up, I was talking about the sizes to you earlier on. And as you say, one meter 25 long, uh, 12 inches, 30 centimeters high. These aerials can get really high. Lots of rigging on there, and it's one 200 scale. Uh, the deck is all metal, and then you've got mixtures between photo etch metal and plastic parts all on this top section here. Now, the good thing about this brochure is it opens up into an absolutely brilliant poster there. Probably best if I just hang that up there so you can see that. But uh, that looks good. I think that's going to have to go on my wall, actually. Uh, but all the instructions for this are online on the Agora Medals website. Alternatively, you can just watch along because I'm going to be building this with you pack by pack so that we can actually do that together. But I'm looking forward to building this, especially because uh, I can give you some tips and tricks along the way that will get us through these packs. So uh, if you don't want to read the instructions, you can always watch my videos. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. Pack one consists of eight packs. I'm just going to show you those here. This is the first pack here with the front forward section of the bow there. Uh, I'm just going to go through these in no particular order. We've got the Arado plane here. We're going to be building that today. Uh, we've got some gears and stuff which I believe are for the capstans. Uh, we have got the capstans looking just like that. We've got some of the hole pieces here, and just this one here, quite heavy, all metal, and I'll show you that nearer the time as well. Uh, we've also got another hole piece, lots and lots of sprues in this one, so I'm going to talk about what sort of things, tools-wise, you're going to need when we actually build this. Uh, we've got a power pack and some catapults there, which are for the Arado plane. And then finally, we've got our first gun, Anton, looking just like that, ready to build. Now in regards to stuff that you're going to need when you build this, you're definitely going to need uh, some glue and you're going to need something to apply the glue whether you do it direct. I use a pin vise just with a normal dress pin in it. You're definitely, definitely going to need some sprue cutters. You're definitely going to need a screwdriver. You're definitely going to need a good pair of tweezers. And finally, the most valuable thing in my opinion, because my eyesight, you're going to need these magnifying glass because some of the things that you're going to be building are really fiddly. But Let's get doing this. So we're going to start the first pack, as I said, with the bow section here. So let's get this open. And the first thing we need is the base plate for the warping winch looking just like that. Now on this sprue, we've got some capstan drums. We need to cut these off of our sprue cutters. Now, if you need some sprue cutters, they are in my Amazon store. And I've put a link just down the, the bottom there for the Amazon stores in the UK and the US. Now I like to use just an old tray here to store the glue in. Just a dollop there because I don't want to put the glue directly on these parts. What I want to do is I want to just use my pin vise here with a pin in it. And I'm just going to put a little bit just around the edge here, just like that, and put the capstan drums in 
like that. Do the same on the other side. Just like that, it just stops you putting glue everywhere. And there we go, that should look just like that. Now some of these parts can get very tiny. As you see, the capstan head here, and the base that it goes to, I'm just barely visible on the end of my finger. Now, there is a good chance that static can keep these stuck to the box. So make sure when you do open the pack up, you do open it carefully so you don't lose these tiny sections just like this. Quite simply, all we're doing with a capstan head is we're gonna glue just around the inside here. Just like this. And we're gonna be putting the head just onto this piece here. So when it's done, look, I'm balancing that on my finger. <laughs> it looks just like that. How small is that? Now we're gonna take over the bow and we're gonna be putting the capstan drums just into this section here. So once again, pour some glue. I just put them into where the lugs have contact with the deck here. Don't need to glue the whole thing here. That will keep that in place, no problems at all. And then we've got two housings to put in just into these sections here and they are on the sprue here. So once again, I'll get these off. Make sure when you cut them off that you've got the tabs on the bottom still so you can actually put this in the deck. And also be careful when you cut them off because they do have a habit of pinging off in all directions and then you'll spend the next hour on the floor trying to find them. And you don't want that. <laughs> so, little bit of glue in here, just like that. Now these go in the direction towards the stern of the ship. This being the uh, bow section facing forward. So I'll put that in. That's the first one in like that. Do the second one. And that's the second one in like that. Now I'm gonna cut off all of the bollards on this because these bollards are what's we put in next. Now the first two bollards are gonna put on the starboard side of the ship, which is this side here. And I'm gonna put them in here. So, bit of glue there. Bit of glue on the other side. Then we can just push these bollards into place. One. And two. Spin it round to the port side here. And we're gonna do exactly the same one and two and put them in one there and one there make sure when you put these in you push them all the way down they should clip into place they should fit flat on the surface there just like that now we've got two to put in just in the middle section just here towards the front of the bow here two and we push these into place one and two and then we've got two hatches to put in the first one's just going into this square here so again I'm just going to drop some glue just around the hole here because there's no tab to put these in this is what the hatch looks like this was on the sprue as well so we just put that in like doing a jigsaw puzzle because it can only go in one way like that and then the last hatch we've got is just behind it over here Put some glue on there and that goes in just like that I'm going to show you this on the top camera because that's all there is to do in stage one we're away Now, in stage two, we're gonna start assembling the Anton gun. Before I continue that though, just remember to keep this little capstan head here uh, safe for next time. And the first thing we need is this brilliant gun housing looking just like that. We're gonna be putting some details onto this. And the first details are on a sprue. These are the only sprue that we've got in this one. They're just the vents. And I'm gonna put my glasses on for this to make sure I'm cutting this off in the right place. Now these are just gonna go into each side here and the other side here. They attach from the side, so I'm just gonna put some glue in there. And this might be the first time that it'd be beneficial to actually use some tweezers. To hold that in place, just put that one in. 
like that. That's the first one in. Let's do the same to the second one. Put a bit of glue in here. Pick that up with me tweezers here. Put that in. And there we go, that's the ventilators in place. Now we've got two ladders to put either side. The ladders are photo etch, but they've already been taken off sprues and bent into shape for us. Uh, later on in the build, we're gonna have to do that ourselves. So it's very convenient that that's been done now. Uh, but these are just gonna go into the holes that we can see just at the side, this side and this side here. So put some glue in there. One, two, three, four. And they've got some little hooks just on the back to put in those holes. Line it up. And then it should fit nice and flush to the Anton gun housing there. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four. You want to make sure these are stuck in. From my memory, I think I lost one of these previously. So uh, you want to make sure that they are in just like that. Now we're going to be taking the gun barrels here. We're going to be putting those into the base here, just like this and this, but we need to glue these into place as well. So I'll put some glue just down here. One. And the other side here, two. Now the most important thing about doing this is when you've got them in, just put them in like this and this, you want to ensure that they're perfectly straight. So I'm just looking at that now and holding it in place until that glue sets so that they look just like that. It's going to be impossible to change that afterwards if they are angled, one's angled compared to the other. So I'm just checking that, that looks absolutely fine. I'm going to leave it that way around. Now we've got a connector here which is eventually going to connect to a motor but we need to put this just at the base of the barrel here. Uh, it has got a shape so it can actually fit perfectly into that shape just like that. To hold that in place we've got a spindle that's going to go through that. That looks just like that so we can put that in all the way like that. Now we've got a tension spring to put into here. This is going to make the guns pull back on themselves because these fire basically going in and out just like that and we need to put this then into a cradle so we can actually mount this to the housing. So quite simply, this is just gonna slot down this side here, all the way in. And then we wanna make sure that the spindle here is engaged into the hole that we can see there. I'm gonna line that up, and as you can see, that's now through there. Now holding that in place, we need to fit a cradle for the motor, and that looks just like this. It goes in with the larger side towards the gun there, and it's gonna sit just like that. And we're gonna secure that from the other side with some PB screws. Now, these are the screws. They're the only ones that come in this pack, so we get these open. And this is the first time we're using a screwdriver. Now, the screwdriver I'm using here is a wearer screwdriver, and it's a PHO screwdriver. So putting the first side in here all the way just like that now these screwdrivers are available again on my Amazon store if you need to get yourself a good screwdriver but I pretty much use wear of screwdrivers on all my builds here's the second one there we go and that's into place looking just like that we're now going to engage the motor into that section this is what the motor looks like so we just take off these cable ties. Now I keep these cable ties because they are good for wire tidy. But as you can see, we've got a cross section just in there. It's gonna match the head of the motor like this. And the motor's gonna be going in with the wires facing up, sitting in like that. Make sure the motor is engaged in there like that. Now we need to hold that in place, which means we're gonna be putting the top on, looking just like that. That's just gonna go over the top. I'm gonna secure that in once again with the PB screws. That's the first one. And we'll just do the other side here. That's the second. We now need to hold this this way round and we're gonna be pushing it into the gun housing, just like that. And if you see here, 
we've got some bridges that this actually pivots on one there and one there this is very important that you put the spindles that you can see either side of the guns on those and when we seal it up make sure that that doesn't come off if you don't do that you're going to have problems later on so once again make sure that these spindles here and here are engaged perfectly we're then going to put some wire through this hole here it's going to hold that in place and then we're going to be able to seal this all together just like that now we're going to put two pb screws just at the top there So that's the first one. And here's the second one. We've got two to put in the middle and then two just to put at the end there. So here's the third one. again nice and tight making sure that when you are tightening these up you're not moving any of the details on top there here's the fourth one you can see that swinging in the cradle on its own there completely and it shouldn't be able to go backwards and forwards that's what you want if it's moving around on any other axis then it's not seated on those pivot points so you need to make sure you've corrected that but there we go that's the first and the last one i lost count of what we're doing there and this is the sixth one <laughs> it's just going into there and there we go that is the top of the anton gun completed now in stage three you can see we're going to start our journey on the hull looking just like that where we've got the front kill section there and we're also going to be building our first arado plane here now there's going to be four of these to build in the collection so we're going to be building the first one now so the first thing we need is this section here that we have from part one and what we had in this one and quite simply all we're going to do is just put this on top just like that and as you can see we've got two holes down the bottom there that's going to be held in with pm screws now just like every other build that i've been doing if it ends in an m it means it's going into metal now i tend not to actually put oil on these for this build but uh i'm going to try putting a little bit of oil on this time see if that helps out i mean they actually screw in really well anyway but uh here's the first one they're still going in really really good i don't think i'm gonna gonna use oil on this at all and here's the second one because the threads have been cut absolutely perfect on this one so that should look just like that we can put this to one side because we're now going to be building the arado plane now this is definitely where you're going to need your magnifying glasses so this is the base of the plane this is the top we just need to put these two bits together so i've got my glue here and i'm just going to dab these into the holes now if you wanted to this is where you could use something like a tamiya fine cement and run this along the seams if you wanted to but uh that doesn't look too bad actually now in with the screws we had this little pin looking just like that what we need to do is put that in to this far side here I use my uh, tweezers to help me align that to the hole that's there and we want to push that pin all the way down so that it comes out the other side there ready to mount the propeller I'm going to dab a little bit of glue just around the end of that spindle there and put the propeller in place but what we need to do when we do that is we need to hold it from the other side to stop the pin coming back out again if that makes sense so I've lined up the propeller there and then I'm going to push the pin from the other side so that should look like that from that side the propeller in from there and that's just going to go onto the front of the plane here so I'm putting some glue just around the edges there and fit the propeller just on the front now this section is directional so it can only go in one way that front bit there but that's with the propeller on as you see the propeller 
should be able to just square it up a little bit should be able to move as you can see there now we've got three tiny accessories on the screw here the uh, the uh, controls a seat and also a part that's going behind the pilot here so it's probably best to actually just look at the picture here to see where these go but I'll be uh, ever so quiet while I fit these because this is what I'm talking about with some of the detail bits that you've got in here now I haven't used my tweezers yet but uh, on this stage anyway but this looks like a, a gun just going in here at the back just like that then we're going to put the seat in very tidy the seat is so I will use my tweezers for that that's just going to go just forward of the two dots that you can see in there so I'll put the seat in that should look like that and then just the control yoke is that what it's called a yoke I don't know and that's going in at the front here making sure it's angled towards the seat I'm very fussy but I'm very happy with how that's gone in that should look just like that we're then going to put the canopy in now you can either attach this with some micro crystal clear or if you're very careful and you only put super glue just on the lugs at the bottom you can use super glue which is what I'm going to do whatever you do don't put super glue <laughs> anywhere else apart from in these lug sockets here that's why i'm not putting them on the part otherwise you'll find that the uh window here will frost up so this can only go in one way push that in and there we go that looks just like that now we're going to put the wings on so once again just some glue underneath here into these lugs one so I'll put a little bit in the middle as well and make sure you put them on the right way they're going to go on this way here at the bottom line them up and then push that into place just straightening that up and now we're going to make the floats now when you do these sections you want to make sure it's bending away from the holes here that you can see there so it should be bending in that direction Okay, so I'm going to put the one side in here first. Just like that. And we'll attach that to its partner on the other side here. And I'm keeping it flat and that way I can make sure that it's going to fit the plane no problems at all. And then we're going to do the same with the front one. Just into these holes here. Making sure when we put this piece in the studs go towards the front so now that should look just like that all we need to do now is put this just onto the underside of the Spitfire here and it's going to be attached in quite a few places it's going to be here one and two and then the four points in the middle so we've got one two three four so I'm going to line that up and put this in and when that's in it should look just like that now the three holes that we've got left we're just going to put some glue just onto them here one at the back we've got two just under where we put the wings in and that's going to be for the catapult launch just looking like that and these just go into those three holes so one two put that one in as well three and that is the finished plane ready to go on the catapult now in the next stage as you see we've got another hole piece we've got a battery pack and we are going to build the catapults so the first thing we're going to do is going to take the hole piece looking just like this it is labeled what side it goes on you see an l on there we're going to be putting the first adapter in and that's just going to go on this side here and it's going to be held in with a pm screw so i'll just put that in there 
just like that as you see these are going in absolutely perfectly and then we don't actually need this part now we can put that to one side but now we're going to make the catapult so we need the catapult wheels now we've got two identical sprues for these so i'm going to get all the wheels off and we have some pins here four of these to actually piece these wheels together quite simply all we're going to do is we're just going to be pushing the uh, pin just onto the end of the wheels just like that now they shouldn't need glue they should be able to hold themselves no problems at all so that's one and we'll put this one in as well number two now we're going to take the base of the catapult like that push one of the wheels just through the back there all the way out the other side and quite simply just push another wheel on the other side there push it together we've got our first set of wheels there we do the same on the other side push that through out the other side get the wheel put that on and that's in place all we're doing then is going to put the top of the catapults in place and all you do is you put it on top like this then just slide it under the lips that you can see there so that's going to go on just like that and then that'll enable that to slide in and out as you can see without falling out we're going to repeat that for the other catapult and when that's done you should just have two catapults looking like that the only other thing left here is we've got a control board here that we can use to test uh, big 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 word of advice do not test anything unless it tells you to do that because if you try and test things like bulbs with this you're going to blow them so only do it either when i tell you to or when the magazine tells you to but quite simply the power pack here is just going to fit into the control board just like this and this control board takes three aa batteries now if you want to see something working what we can do is we can plug this in now this control board is perfect for testing motors so when we've got that in we're going to test the motor we got here make sure it's in the off position we'll put the motor in this side here making sure the pins are lined up we're not going to bend them when we push them in just like that and when we turn it on it should pulse in and out now if it doesn't like my one did there just take the motor off and make sure that it's fully engaged into this section and basically the top of the motor should be level with the top of that motor spring there so i'm going to try that again now when things go wrong don't be afraid to open it up have a check check your gears make sure everything's engaged uh, because it's better to get it at this stage than later on when it's all fixed but as you can see now working absolutely perfectly and that with everything that you see here is all there is to do in that stage now in stage five we've got another hole piece here and we're going to be working on the anchor capstans so the first thing i'm going to do is take the hole piece off here and we've got another connector to put on that connector is just going to go on this side over here once again that's going to be held in with a pm screw got one of them lined up so that's just going to go in like this nice and tight now we haven't seen this for a while but we bring over the bow of the ship now because we're actually going to be putting some anchor sections on here and we're going to be putting on the anchor chain housing and the chain guides now they look just like this that's the housing and the chain guides look just like this so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the chain guides here. They just go into those two holes that you can see there. And basically they go in this way with the flat section here facing towards the stern of the ship. We'll do the same on the other side here. That's just going to go in just like that. And then quite simply the anchor chain openings are just going to go into this section just here on either side so once again i'm going to drop some glue into there and i can drop these in that's one and there's the second one so it should look just like that we could put that to one side because all we've got left to do is we've got two capstans to actually put together and to do that what we need to do is take one of these spindles here and once again just drop a little bit of glue 
just down the hole in the middle there like that put one of the capstan wheels on top like that turn it upside down and then we're going to be placing the green one just over the top now the green means starboard the red means port so this is going to be going on the starboard side of the ship so you can push that all the way to the bottom like that and then quite simply all we have then is a cap to put over that here so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue just dotted around the underside of the capstan there now the capstan's held on really tight so you don't need to glue that on there but this is just going to keep everything into place so I'll put that on as well and there we go that's the starboard capstan completed I'll do the same thing for the port side and there we go when that's complete you should have two capstans the port one and the starboard side one and that's all there is to do in that stage Now in stage six, we're working on the uh, next kill section here, which looks just like that. Another really big bit of metal here. And that's looking just like that. We can bring over what we've worked on so far, because basically this is going to marry up with this piece that we've got next to it here. And as you can see inside, it's left a little place for two screws to go in. We need to piece this together though. And that's why we have this adapter. So what I'll do is I'll put the adapter in this side, just like that. That's going to be held in with PM screws. And then we can link that up to the other side here. And once again, we'll put another PM screw just down there. Make sure these are nice and tight. And there we go. That's the second kill section in place. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage seven, we're gonna be working for the gearbox for the anchors. So we're gonna need the cross shaft looking like this. We're gonna need the uh, anchor chain reels looking like this and the two anchor chains looking like this. So I'll open up one of the anchor chains. And as you can see on the end of the chain here, we've got this hoop. Now that hoop is just gonna go on the end here, just over the top all of those sections there and we're going to put this in with the cap here now when we push this together you want to make sure that that opening goes over the chain now this isn't going to need glue it's quite tough to actually move this anyway <laughs> but there we go that's in place we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side here so i've got the anchor chain here i'll put that over that section now i'm just going to make sure that they're all exactly the same way and then once again i'll put this cap just over the top here so then we're going to need to bring the upper side of the gearbox housing here and we want to drop these chains through these two holes here which is a game into itself but there we go they're all in once they're in we're just going to be putting the uh, reels in just like that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the shaft of the anchor here, push that through the bottom there, and then make sure that's all the way in, just like that. And at the top here, we're going to attach an anchor ring. Now the rings come in these little boxes here, so we'll open them up. Now I do believe later on in this build, we're going to get different rings. So I'll just uh, advise you of that now. Now this can be a little bit fiddly, but you want to thread the eye of the anchor here through one of those rings. So that should look just like that. We do the same on the other anchor. And then basically we've got two other parts here. We're just gonna leave this all in one place because that's all we do in that stage. Now the final stage of pack eight looks just like this. We've got another hole piece on here. So I'm going to take that out and that's the first thing we're going to attach. So this is actually a starboard piece. We want to take one of the other starboard pieces that we had uh, from a previous stage. As a matter of fact, if you look at the number there, that's what it looks like. And quite simply, these two are just going to marry together pretty much like that. And it's going to be held in just here with a PM screw. I've got one of these here. 
so we'll put that piece in just like that as you can see there we've started building the starboard side of the hull so just give you anatomy of a ship look on the side camera here if this is the front of the ship this would be the port side and the right hand side would be the starboard side so because we've been working on the starboard side this piece is just going to go on just like that that's going to be held into place with one two three four five pm screws and there we go so that is the two sections of keel and the uh, first starboard side of the hole in place. Now we need to bring over the forward deck again because we've got some details to put in that. Now the first detail is the anchor guide looking like that. That just needs a little bit of glue just in here to hold that into place. And we can put that in just like that. And we've got two grill like details here. I'm just going to cut them off the sprues here. And they're going to go onto these two holes that we can see either side of these anchor guides here, just like that. So I'll get some glue in there. That's the first one in. Make sure when you put these in, you're putting them in at 90 degrees there. You don't want them leaning over or warped there. And there's the second one looking just like that. Then we've got another detail going just behind that section there. So I'm going to drop some glue just into those holes. That detail looks just like this. Again, I don't think I need my tweezers for this. I'm going to just drop these in. Just make sure that they're standing up straight, which they are. And we do exactly the same. A lot, lot of symmetry in this ship on the other side here. So both of those details are in now and then the final detail we're going to put in is the anchor brackets that goes just onto this section here one and two they look just like this I'm going to put them in here make sure it's straight that's the first one in Make sure they're pushed all the way down and they should look just like that we've got one more detail to put in that looks like that it's sort of like looks like a clover on top now when we put this detail in just so you know it's going into the hole just here so in the four holes that you see here it's the one nearest to the side this actually goes in as a diamond so, oops, let's put that back in. Make sure it's straight, but you want it in that way around. If you can see that, okay. Once again, with the symmetry, we do exactly the same on the other side here. And there we go. That's the finished details on the forward deck there. Now, I'm just gonna show you everything we've worked on this pack. We've got the deck, We've got the two capstans there. Remember in the very first stage, we've got that capstan cap still. We've got another hole piece here. We've got the two catapults that we made. We've got the Arado plane, looking like that. We've got some parts for the gearbox, for the anchors, looking just like that. We've got the Anton gun that we worked on. God, we've actually done quite a bit really haven't we and finally can't get everything in here we've got the hole that we completed but that is the end of pack one now can you believe how much there is to do in this and you're going to mirror that in all the next packs that are coming so uh, i hope you enjoyed that video uh, i don't know how long this is going to run but it's taken about three hours to film but uh, if you want to get hold of this yourself i'll put the link down here for the agora models website just go over to agoramodels.com you'll be able to get this all the way from pack one and build this alongside me looks like in pack two we're going to be connecting the anchors up uh doing the gearbox for that and uh probably having some more electrics and motors to play with but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care